away good morning class today we'll be talking about interconversion of states of matter okay now what is actually interconversion and interconversion is a state in which a state of matter changes from one state to another by the action of change in temperature as well as change in pressure okay now as you can see in the figure there are various conversions taking place between solid liquid gas that is melting evaporation condensation solidification or you can call it freezing deposition and sublimation so today we'll be taking it one by one what actually are all these things and uh, how are they correlated okay so first the term comes what is interconversion the phenomena of change of one state of matter into another and then back to the original state without any change in the chemical composition is called interconversion of state of matter and the change of state of matter is caused by change in temperature and change in pressure okay now if you take a very common example water so there you can easily make out what are the changes taking place so when a solid directly changes into liquid this process is known as melting or fusion and the temperature at which a solid changes into uh, liquid is called melting point okay the temperature remains constant the temperature remains constant till the whole of the solid changes into liquid second one is freezing or you can call it uh, solidification the process by which a substance of liquid state changes into solid state is known as freezing or solidification and the temperature at which a liquid starts changing into solid state is known as freezing point generally water freezes at zero degree temperature centigrade at normal temp normal conditions okay so here is an example of water uh, when water freezes or solidifies it changes into ice cubes whereas when water uh, when uh, ice melts it changes into water liquid form so this is an interconversion of state of matter between solid to liquid and liquid back to solid next is evaporation evaporation is the process by which a substance changes from liquid state to vapor state this process is called as evaporation or vaporization evaporation takes place even at room temperature but it becomes faster on heating okay and the temperature fixed temperature at which a liquid starts changing into gaseous state is called boiling point okay and this temperature at this time the temperature and pressure of the liquid becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure okay so example the boiling point of pure water is 100 degree centigrade so here is a interconversion of state of matter from liquid towards gaseous state so this is the process of evaporation as you can see the surface molecules from liquid starts changing into gaseous state then contrary to this we have another that is condensation now what is condensation condensation is a process by which a substance in gaseous state changes back into liquid state and this process is known as condensation or liquefaction okay now as you can see when you cook uh, something uh, and you cover it with a lid then you can see the water droplets on the lid that is nothing but the vapors co condensing back into liquid form so this type of uh, vapor formation is condensation and the temperature at which a gas starts changing into liquid state is called condensation point okay and the condensation point of steam is 100 degree centigrade again condensation another name is liquefaction Eva evaporation another name is vaporization whereas freezing another name is solidification okay and melting another name is fusion here comes sublimation now sublimation is a pro process in which a solid directly changes into gaseous state from solid to gaseous state on heating and vice versa okay this process is known as sublimation a very common example is camphor kapoor that you use and ammonium chloride solution okay now as you can see in the figure ammonium chloride is kept and over that a funnel is kept which is closed with a cotton plug 
Now, as you give uh, heat through the burner, ammonium chloride salt, what happens? Ammonium chloride evaporates and it solidifies in on the funnel, sideways of the funnel. Okay, and the vapors of ammonium chloride is formed and it gets solidifies on the sideways. So, from solid, the condition is directly changing into gaseous state. Such type of change is known as sublimation. Okay, and then a very common example in our day to day life is dry ice that is solid carbon dioxide it directly changes the next topic is very important that is your deposition now deposition is a process in which the vapors directly change into solid form vapors directly change into solid form without becoming a liquid such process is known as deposition and a very good example is snow from from the clouds okay so what all we have studied today is interconversion of states of matter the thing that is left is your law of conservation of matter Levoisier proposed this and he stated that matter can neither be created nor can be destroyed in a chemical reaction Okay, in other way we can state in a chemical reaction the total mass of the reactant is equal to the total mass of the product. This means that there is no change of mass during the reaction.